hey what's up guys god bless you all today let's talk about work manager which is an architectural component in the new android jetpack library so without further ado let's get on with it in simple words jetpack is nothing but a set of libraries which makes it easy to implement different components in your app and almost all of them are backwards compatible that means that you can just forget about the api level and just focus on your app coming to work manager this is a part of architectural component in the jetpack library this work manager api lets you create a task and hand it off to a work manager instance to run immediately or at a certain time or with or without any constraints as the need may be Now you all might be thinking why to use work manager when we have job scheduler firebase job dispatcher and alarm manager with broadcast receivers so why not just schedule a task and hand hand it off to one of these and work done but here comes the catch job scheduler works on api level 23 and above only firebase job dispatcher has a backwards compatibility up to api level 14 but it needs google play services and below 14 you can use alarm manager and broadcast receiver so to make our app back backwards compatible we have to do a lot of stuff to avoid writing code for all the api levels work manager comes to our rescue in this we do not have to write device logic it is backwards compatible with or without google play services we can check the status of the work the task can be cancelled that is the work the task can be changed that is if task a is completed then proceed on to task b if task b is completed then proceed on to task 3 if any of the task in between fails then that's the end of that chain and it has to be retried so let's see how does work manager chooses the best option the best option has to be between job scheduler firebase job dispatcher or the alarm manager and broadcast receiver So suppose you have a work the first thing it does is to check if the api level is greater than and equal to 23 if it is greater than and equal to 23 it hands off the task to job scheduler and it executes the work if it is not then it checks whether the api is again greater than and equal to 14 google play services is installed and firebase job dispatcher library is also installed if it is if it meets all the three requirements then it hands off the task to firebase job dispatcher and work is executed otherwise it uses our plain old alarm manager and broadcast receiver to add work manager in your project just go to this link i'll post this link in the description below add a few dependencies in your build.gradle file and then you are good to go using work manager is very easy i've broken down it into three steps which you really need to follow the first step is to extend the worker class where you write all the logic of your task secondly we need to create a work request and if you want you can add in a few constraints we'll talk about them later and thirdly you just get an instance of the work manager and enqueue your work and that's all to work manager you don't have to do anything else to use it now let's dig into step 1 We have a class my worker which extends from the worker class and we have just overridden one method that is the do work method in this method we write the logic of our task that is what task we need to perform and we complete our task here and then it takes in and then we have to return the result of the work the result could be successful failure or retry what all of these three does is that success means it's successful that is the work is complete retry means that we tell the work manager to retry this task at some later time and what does failure mean that never to retry this task again until and unless our app demands or rather our app schedules the task again if you remember our second step was to create a re- work request it can be of two types it can be a one time work request or it can be a periodic work request here we have created a one time work request and we have provided in the class 
which we have created in the step one and in step three what we have done we have just get an instance of the work manager and we have just enqueued our work and that's that's all what you need to do with work manager as I told you in step two that you can add constraints it's very easy to add them just add in your constraints like shown here and add them to your work request I'll provide a link in the description below where you can find different types of constraints you can use. So that's all for work manager for now. I've skipped some parts like cancelling work, chainable work requests, but that would be talked about in later videos when we are in Android studio. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and vice versa. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my videos if you like them moreover you can comment as to what kind of videos you all want me to cover in future bye bye take care